Welcome to Kmail Training. This is a step-by-step -step guided tour to help you access your Kmail or Kronos mail. You can use this tutorial along with your step-by-step -step Kmail training manual in order to access, respond, and send emails through the Kmail system. The first step is to access your web browser. We recommend Internet Explorer as some programs can be a little temperamental. Once you are in your web browser, you will want to locate the address line. The address line can be found at the top of the page. Next, you will want to click inside the address line and type in the Ward Trucking Kronos web address in order to access the landing page. If you're like me, that might have gone a little too fast. So here it is again. When you're done writing it down, hit the continue button to move on. This is the Kronos Workforce Central landing page. It is here you will enter your username and password. When you get to this point, you might be thinking to yourself, well, let's just say I'm up a creek without a paddle. You might be thinking, what if I didn't have a login set up, or I set it up but I don't remember my password? Not to worry. This might be your first time visiting the Ward Kronos landing page. If this is the case, you will need to create a new login. All you have to do is click on Create New Logon and follow the instructions. What if you've already created a logon but forgot your password? In this case, you will need to request a new password. All you have to do is click on Forgot Your Password and follow the instructions. Another piece of advice is to bookmark this page. A bookmark will help you save the page and create a shortcut which you can navigate to in seconds. It is a real time saver. It is great for storing your favorite web pages and extremely efficient when you need to retrieve information. You also don't have to type in the web address each and every time. So let's say you have your username and password. Now what? The first thing that you'll want to do is type in your username. Now type in your password. Next hit the submit button or the enter key on your keyboard. You have arrived at the Kronos Employee Self-Service Portal or the ESS portal. From here you will want to go to the General tab where a drop down box will appear. Click on the inbox. Now click on the Message tab. Currently there are three emails in the inbox. It will tell you who is it from, the subject matter, and when it was received. In order to view the email you will want to pick and highlight the email. You then click on the Open button above. As an alternative, you can also double-click on the email you want to open. Once opened, read the email. At this point, you have a couple of options. First, close the email. The message has been received and no correspondence is required. The second option is print the email for your records. The third option is delete the email permanently from your email list. You can also use the Help button if you have questions about the Kmail system once online. And finally, you can reply to the sender, either as a general courtesy or to correspond on the subject at hand. When replying, this is the window that will open. This is the address name for the person you are replying to. Typically, this is the person who sent the email. However, you can add another recipient. We will be discussing this in more detail in just a few. If you have previously set up your personal information, the message can be sent to your personal and private email at home. This is great for forwarding documents to yourself. All you have to do is click on the box next to send the message to myself. This is the subject matter line. You can click inside the box and change the subject it regards. Next is the message area. If replying, you will click here in the box and type your message. Hi, thanks for your help. If you decide to include others on the email, you can go to the address book and click on the button. 
this will provide a search for those you want to include. When you open the address book, it is blank. However, it is easy to search and find our employees. All you have to do is go to the name field and click inside. Now type in the first letter of the last name and add an asterisk. Then hit the search button. The available block will populate with all employees with the last name starting with the letter A. Next you will click and highlight the person you want to add to the email. They can be added to the selected box. By clicking on the Add button, you can add one person at a time. Let's review some of the other button options available to you. This is the Add All button. When this is used, you will populate the selected list with all the names that are visible. And this is the Remove All button. You can remove any and all names from the box. Let's take a closer look at the Add and Remove buttons. These buttons are used most commonly as a way to pick and choose a K-Mail recipient. If you want to add another recipient to the K-Mail, all you have to do is highlight their name and click on the Add button. But what if you've added the wrong recipient or added just too many people? All you have to do is highlight their name and then click on the Remove button. The only thing to do now is click the OK button. Please note there are now two recipients that will receive the K-Mail. Remember, if you haven't typed in your message, this is the perfect time to type in the message field. Notice there are three buttons, a Send button, a Cancel button, and a Help button. The Send button will send the K-Mail. Here are some general tips before sending the K-Mail. Number one, check your spelling. Number two, make sure the message is businesslike and professional. And number three, you have included the correct people in your address box. Please remember, once you send the K-Mail, you cannot retrieve it. After sending the email, the only thing left to do is to log out. I hope this was helpful and thank you for taking the time to learn about K-Mail.